So this weekend, guys, we went to the Riggs and Kids event, and while we were the only Colorado ZR2 there, there were a lot of Tacomas, and I'll tell you this, these guys outfit these trucks to the nines, so you can certainly get some great ideas for your own build, so stay tuned for a great episode. We're going to do some rig walk-arounds and some interviews. And today we're interviewing Robbie. So tell us a little bit about your truck. Uh, what made you buy it? When did you buy it? And what do you have planned next for your rig? All right, well, yeah, like you said, my name is Robbie. Um, this is a, it's a 2019 Tacoma. Uh, I actually started off, it's a really funny story, about a year ago I bought a 2018 uh, Tacoma, uh, a white one, and I didn't know I was going to get into this at the time, and I ended up buying a two-wheel drive, because I just, I go to the Sierras, we fish all the time, never thought I'd get into the whole off-road scene. I knew I wanted a tent, um, but I, I had a rooftop tent, so I knew that was the way we wanted to camp. Uh, and as I started looking online and seeing all these cool trucks and all that and seeing what these guys were doing on YouTube, I knew that we wanted to do that. And my, my daughter, who's out of the camera, but she... Uh, Come on over here. She really, uh, she got into it with us. That's great. What's and your name? Kylie. Kylie? Yeah, and she, she's actually my, uh, my big resource for a lot of this. She <laughs> spends a lot of time online researching trails and... and uh, doing all that but uh so i had my tacoma it was a 2018 we had it for i don't know till this last july and putting all this work into it trying to make it as capable as i can for a four-wheel drive uh, i was talking to a friend of mine who said why don't you entertain the idea of going to toyota and see if they'll do anything to trade your truck uh in and and i ended up doing that and ended up getting a trd off-road the four by four uh still learning a ton i'm brand new to this whole thing right what do you like most about your truck so far Everything. Everything. My God, I love this truck. It's, I mean, the capabilities. Of, I mean, we do things now. We'll go up just local, up to Saddleback, to Silverado up there, and just be able to hang out. We go, you know, we go fishing. We, we do a lot of that stuff. But I, I think I love not only being in it, but it's fun to do the upgrades. Like, yeah. I'm loving learning about all this. It's and definitely I'm, my favorite color by far. I love thank that, you. that I gray color. Got lucky. Yeah. I actually was test driving a white one. And, uh, the, uh, at the end of the, uh, the whole thing, the white one had problems. So the guy said, look, if you want the cement, I'll throw it in. And we made it happen. Wow. So I got really lucky. Now tell everybody where they can find you on Instagram. Uh, actually, to find me on Instagram, uh, my, it's dirt, the letter N, fish, underscore taco. Dirt and fish, underscore taco. Awesome. And what's your next upgrade for your truck? Uh, suspension. I think that's what we're looking to do, and uh, that's part of the reason I'm here too. Talk to a bunch of guys. Uh, I kind of had a couple ideas and trying to hone it in now, but I think I'm leaning to the icon. Fantastic. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm hoping to do, and then uh, obviously the tires will go with it. I'm Man, step th up to 33s. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Thanks for bringing out your truck. Absolutely. Rigs and kids, come out, guys. We're going to be here all day. Great. Thank Good you. Talking to you. Uh, you too. Thank you. I think it's great. Father and daughter, she's doing all the research for the trails they're going on. They're doing some fishing. They're getting back out in nature. And isn't that what it's all about, guys? Getting these rigs outfitted so we can go out and explore with our families. Good times. Now, while there were a lot of great builds around the show, this one really caught my eye. Now, this one is Big Ty. You can find him on Instagram at Big Ty. And he's uh, handpicked all the items on this truck himself, and he's got it outfitted just the way he likes it. Now this guy has a lot of exploring and adventure photos on his Instagram account, even some videos. So make sure you guys give him a follow. Another great build. Jesse from his great YouTube channel, always putting out great content. I Pleasure to meet you, man. Absolutely. You as well. <laughs> hey, so we're going to talk to Jesse a little bit about his truck, what motivated him to do the build, and what he's going to be doing next, all right? Take it away, Jesse. Tell us a little bit about your rig. Let's do it. All right, so I started it about maybe, I want to say, a year ago, uh, maybe a year and a couple months ago. Honestly, I didn't plan on building it. I didn't plan on doing anything with it. It's just uh, I had a good friend of mine that had a Tacoma already. His was a little build, and that's kind of what got me into it. So I got a shout out, Chris. I don't know if he'll ever watch this. <laughs> so 
that's kind of what started me. Um, honestly, I didn't plan too much on it, and I still plan on building it more, but I, I don't know. It's, that's kind of how it's just, just kind of, yeah. your buddy got you into it. Yeah. He probably had a truck he was gearing out, right? <laughs> exactly. And then you start geeking out on his stuff. Exactly. You're like, hey, I got to do this. Exactly. Hey, so I'll tell you what, you know, I found Jesse, like I said, originally from his YouTube channel. He was doing an onboard air system, I think it was. Yeah. Um, Val Air? V Air. V Air, V Air. Exactly. So guys, go to his uh, Jesse Rizzo YouTube channel. That and uh, check out that video. If you're looking at doing some onboard air, he's got some great videos, some good tech tips as well. So, um, what year is your truck? So it's a 2018 Toyota Tacoma uh, TRD off-road. Okay, and where was the last place you took it off-road? I wanna say, uh, like two weeks ago to Claghorn. Claghorn, okay. Yeah. And then before that, you guys were at Moab. Yes, Yeah. Moab. that was an awesome trip. So another <laughs> great thing, if you guys want some laughs, they were having a great time yeah. out there. Um, now, you've got the Prince Sue Rack. Yes, sir. Okay, and, um, what kind of rims you got? So I got the Icon Rebound 17 inch wheels. Um, it's just, at the time they were brand new, so I wanted something different. I didn't want to go with Methods, I didn't want to go with any other brand that anyone had. So I ended up going with these. Right. So, And I still don't see them out that much, so that's a good thing to me. <laughs> no, I agree. I mean, sometimes it's hard to be different in, exactly. in when everybody's doing the same thing. Exactly. And you, you sometimes you just got to take on your own personality and just let it be your, your thing, right? Exactly. So tell us, what's Syndicate Yodas? So Syndicate Yodas is just my truck club. It's not really nothing too big yet, um, but it's just a branch off of Syndicate Off-Road. So they're like an actual off-roading company okay. where they do installs and a bunch of other things. We're just like a little branch off of them. Wow, that's cool. So if you guys in the Toyota community are, I mean, you guys aren't just Toyotas, are you? Are you, are you uh, no, so Toyota, so it's Syndicate Yodas and Syndicate Jeeps. Okay. So also Jeeps. So, so, yeah. so if you guys are looking to connect with a, a group of people, maybe go do some off-road trails, yeah. meet some cool people, have some fun, contact Jesse. What's your Instagram account? Uh, it's underscore Jesse Rizzo. That's it. Jesse Rizzo on Instagram. Today we're going to do an interview with Ayaso Taco, right? Yes, sir. All right. You guys might know this guy from Instagram, maybe even from YouTube. Uh, we're going to talk to him a little bit about his build, a little bit about his rig, what he has coming up. So tell me this. What inspired you to put together this beautiful truck, man? Man, what inspired me was actually when I first got the truck, I didn't know what I got myself into. I, I just wanted it because I, I grew up around the Tacomas. My dad grew up with a Tacoma. Um, from first generation, second generation, I said, man, I wanted, I wanted Tacoma when I grew up. And white. Tell me about and white. Why? My dad always had it white. Is I love right? it. It stands out. So I always love the truck. I always okay. love it. I always love the color. Nice. You know? So, yeah. That's so, where was the last place you took your, your rig off-road? The last place I took my truck was um, Claghorn. Okay. Claghorn. That was the last place I went. Right. Tell us about your suspension. Okay. So, these are the Kings. Um, these kings are the uh, mid trap kings with um, UCA's uh, Total Chaos out there, adjustable ones. So I love these, you know. Um, this was actually recommended by a buddy of mine, and he said, Hey man, you don't need to go all the way, this, this will work for you, this will do the job that needs to be done out there. You know, um, don't go too crazy, don't you know, but this is it. This, I love them, I, I, I tried them out, I did a little exploring out there, and Man, I'm, I'm super dope. I mean, excited about the king. Okay, tell us about your rims and tires. Rims, these are RRW, Racing Relation wheels. So, um, these are great. These, I actually, that was the first thing I got when I, um, when I got the truck, you know, before the king. So, so the company's really awesome. The guy's great. He actually gave me a great deal and with the set of tires. So that was, I was super psyched about that. You know, I didn't, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, you know, um, and then when I did a little research on them, yeah, it was, it was awesome, man. I mean, I love the rims. 
Are you happy with the traction you're getting from the trails? I am actually extremely happy with them. I, I, man, I love them. Okay. I, might end up, I might end up going um, MT though, but right now I have the RT, so I'm happy with those. I also know she got some rock lights tucked okay. up behind her. Exactly. I actually do have some rock lights all around, even on the bottom here by the um, by the slider. So I do have that. Um, these are actually from a company. Um, well, the ones over here actually are from Rigid. So I have these right here. This is actually an aftermarket. So I kind of compare them, and they're actually pretty good. They actually do the same job than the than the rigid, so okay. I was happy with that. Let's talk about your rock sliders. Who rock makes sliders. those? These are RCI rock sliders. Here. RCI make these um, <clears throat> rock sliders for me. So um, Truck for Gray was the one that went and personally picked these up for me in um, Colorado, if I'm not mistaken, where RCI is at. So yep, I'm really really happy with them. I'm okay. not can't go wrong with these. Now I see you're running Baja Designs, Correct. both in uh, ditch lights and your roof light. Correct, yes. I am running Baja, that's a 40 inch Baja ONX6 Baja light. I love it, great. I mean, it does the job, really. I, mean, I think that's all you probably need, yeah. but you know, I went all out. <laughs> right, right, you can tell. You're definitely put some money. This guy's yeah. invested a ton. Uh, tell me about your Prince rack. Prince rack, man. I was debating on the Prince rack or the, um, what's the other one? The, their name, uh, I forgot their name, everybody else has them, but I um, actually decided to go with the uh, printer because I mean, I did a lot of research on it and I noticed that you could mount a lot of things on there, you know, so I said, man, I, I, I'm going to go this route, you know, so yeah, I mean, great, great investment, no complaints, I even been up there, I stand up there before, wow. so I know I can take the weight. Yeah, yeah. and you got some um, uh, ramp tracks? Yeah, there's a Tread Pro. The Tread Pro? Pros right here. These are from ARB. Great, great. I used them already twice. Got me out of trouble. Very robust, very nice. Dude, Super strong. Awesome, awesome. I have no complaints. Solid. Okay. Really and you're running the Kings in the back? Mm -hmm. Bypass shock? Yes, sir. And did you do anything with the springs? Or those yes, just I did. I actually got the OMEs right here in the back, too, the springs. So that is also cool. I was, um, I did the whole package together, no complaints on that, so it really, really, I mean, it, it was a great combination with everything, with the Kings and the, and the Leafs. I am representing the brands out here. I also, that, um, the fire extinguisher, the mount, that is from Razo Fabrication, so that's awesome. I love that great product. Waterport. Um, Waterport, got them. And yeah, I got the first, I guess, the first, you could say the first gen um, mountain hat. First design. Yeah. As you can see, it doesn't have the cup holder. That's right. But they're still solid. They're still solid. 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 Some roto packs again on yeah. this side. Very well equipped. And tell me about your box up there. Your well, carry-all. This, this box up here, I actually have a lot of recovery tools, straps, tools, anything that um, I could get in trouble out there and help me get out of trouble and to help any, anyone else out there too. Right? And when we go off road. And what type of rack are you running? I am also running the RCI rack. LCI? Yeah. RCI. 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 Okay. RCI. So yeah, that's the long bit. That's for the long bit. Love it. Great. I mean, I did a lot of research on them, and I think their product is really great. I have no complaints on the RCI ride. Right. Awesome. Well, Paso, thank you so much for spending some time with me, man. And you guys keep an eye out for him, uh, both on Instagram and on YouTube. And uh, hopefully you guys, he's out in Palmdale, so if you guys want to go wheeling in Palmdale, this is the guy to talk to. Hit me up. I'll take you anywhere you guys want. Uh, thank you guys for showing up. We appreciate it, and we're looking forward to having some conversation with all of you guys and walking around and checking out some of these rigs. I'm super impressed. Uh, I didn't bring my Toyota Tacoma specifically. Special shout out to Rob Demand for putting uh, on such so a great event, so and also to the guys over at Trail Chasers Podcast. They're hilarious. Give them a follow. Now, even though we were the only Colorado ZR2 there, we got a lot of accolades and a lot of props from all the guys, and they all treated us with kindness. So make sure when these events come up, guys, you get your Colorados out there, represent the ZR2 brand, and let's all have some fun. We'll see you guys on the next episode where we're going to do a complete rig walk around of my truck.